So I understand at the panel you dropped a few hints about the new season. We did. We gave a few a few little spoilers. So now this is the time where you elaborate on all of those spoilers. <laughs> we, we do a deep dive right. on okay. each one. Okay. Um, so let's start with uh, Amy and Sheldon's honeymoon. Right, you've done your homework. We just said it. You I know. know it. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not, not my first time. Uh, we're going to see some of their honeymoon. We're going to start the season on their honeymoon, yeah. Will any time have passed or will it just be literally like the next I, day. I think the next day or you know a day yeah a day or two later. Where are they honeymooning? They're making a couple different stops. Each one of them got to pick a a, a location for their honeymoon. Okay. So some traveling is yeah. involved for them, not us. Right. It right. will all happen at Warner Brothers. Don't worry. <laughs> it's amazing what right. you can accomplish yeah. with a green screen. Exactly. <laughs> is the whole episode about the honeymoon? Is there a B story? Like, will we see? That's just yeah. That's just a part of the episode. Is just Sheldon and Amy away, and they're definitely going to see everybody everybody else uh, everybody else back. Getting to enjoy a little time away from Sheldon and Amy. Yeah, and are they enjoying the break? <laughs> They're trying to, and then uh, Amy's parents show up. Oh, so they'll be in the premiere? In the Again, premiere. I was going to ask about that. It yeah. seemed like if you have Kathy right. Bates, it's like you are gonna you would want to make mo most yeah. of use of that. She's yeah. terrific. She's amazing. And are, do you plan on sort of bringing her back throughout the season? We would love to. I mean, again, we don't we don't write that far in advance, So, mm. um, but we know when we were first talking to her about coming in the finale, we told her we would love this character to be reoccurring, and she was enthusiastic about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love that, that's, that, that Sheldon has in-laws, and that, you know, you have such a great actress playing her, and Teller, too, who's so great and fun. You know, if we find the stories for them, it's nice to know that they have, a, have them around as part of our world. And it's nice that in season 11 and 12, we can still grow this universe in, in, in fun new ways, which just bring more stories. You've always, as writers on the show, not worked very far in advance. Right. Um, I know because I'm always asking for this. <laughs> and they're like, that's the right. reason you can. But it, with this potentially being the final season, does that change at all? Because it just seems... Well, it'll change... I guess it'll change if we, when we know for sure. And honestly, right now, we do, people ask that question yeah. a lot, and we don't know. As far as I know, this is the last season. I, you know, if there, I'm sure we will know for sure. You know, in the next few months. And so, if, if it is the last season, when we start talking about a finale, we will probably, you know, it'll give us some time to build towards that. Mm -hmm. And people ask us, we have no idea, mm -hmm. and it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> We're so low on the totem pole of people. You would ask, do you want to do more seasons? <laughs> no, we're just Dopey writers, way more important people than <laughs> have a say in this than us. But from your perspective, creatively, do you feel like there's enough, and you know, enough gas still in the tank? It never feels like there's enough gas. Right. We've been panicked since season one <laughs> yeah. of what are we gonna do next? Oh, how is there we possibly do a second season? I'm feeling that on Sheldon already. <laughs> I don't think you ever. But then you calm down and all right, let's just do the next one and make the next one as good as we can. And I think you just if if the show keeps going, we just keep worrying about the next one. Yeah. Can you tease what tie-ins there might be or cross crossovers between the two shows. Well, we're going to meet grown-up Tam, who's right, Sheldon's right. best friend. Um, you have not cast the role. We have not cast yeah. the role yet. In fact, we're just writing that script right now. We're about halfway through it. Um, and we will learn why grown-up Sheldon doesn't talk about Tam and what happened uh, to their relationship. And beyond that, like, are you thinking, like, of, of tie-ins and... We, I mean, Chuck and I have flirted with the idea of wanting to see adult Billy Sparks because we're just so in love with <laughs> Billy Sparks on Young Sheldon. We, it's fun to think about who might right. play that character. And with the t introducing Tam, well, that, that's the premiere? Or, that's not the premiere now. <laughs> but in that episode, will then Tam figure prominently in the Sheldon ep Young Sheldon episode that uh, follows it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in it, but there's no, I, I mean, what... It's There's tricky. no nod well, to, we're going to be friends forever. It's not, we're right. not doing that sort Although of thing. that's kind of funny. <laughs> we, should, we, should, we should think about that. Um, uh, it's, it's tricky dealing with this timeline. We were saying we don't know if there's ever been a situation where there's a pre prequel on as at the same time the other show is still on. So it's, it's this weird like time wormhole that's been created where we can go back and forth and I think we're really only scratching the surface right. of and how, what we fun say we can have with that. Have repercussions go you know on both both sides of it. Things we say, you know, if we, we were talking about like we were gonna we made a joke about Sean talking about his birthday party and we're like, well hold on, if we say it's his tenth birthday party they're gonna have to say they're gonna have to show this. We can say it. So should we move it or do you know? Do they want to do this as a story? You know it those discussions. Brain hurt after a while. <laughs> <laughs> how many episodes of Young Sheldon are you doing this season? Uh, twenty-two. That's full twenty-two. Mm -hmm. 
It's a lot more work than a, a <laughs> three camera traditional sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like home yeah. kicking back hours before he is. It's true. And I'm not bitter about it at all. It's fun yeah. sitting there true. saying, I'm going to be on the stage for hours and all the Big Bang writers are home with their families and then I get to go to editing for 12 hours. It's great. <laughs> but I love it. I love the show. I love a cast. I'm super proud of season one of Sheldon. Yeah. And uh, so far, we start shooting season two on Monday. Do you have a list of the Big Bang things you want to accomplish that before the show ends? We don't actually have a physical list. There's been for years stories we knew that we would tell. Like I think Sheldon and Amy's wedding was a story we knew we'd tell. We just didn't know when. Um, you know, so we and we and we've certainly ticked off a lot of them. There's still things that I think are are pretty big things that we haven't done yet that I'm excited to do. Um, and and sometimes we keep finding sort of new new moments. Can you confirm that Bernadette and Howard are not going to have a third child? <laughs> I, can, I can confirm that <laughs> a thousand percent. <laughs>